and then let's just create a um, create a uh, well you know I like to let's say you want to add a bootstrap style sheet to this right I can we can do this very easily by doing uh, let's go to bootstrap CDN and then we're just gonna get this CSS file here so if you look, open it up, it's a giant minified SAS, uh, CSS file for Bootstrap. So let's add Bootstrap to this. Uh, you totally don't have to do this, but I just want to demonstrate how you can do it. So even though this is CSS, it still works. Now we can import vendor Bootstrap. OK, great. So now we have. Um, we have the bootstrap CSS and the reset CSS in our in our projects. Now for JavaScript, we're going to do very similar. Um, let me just add a project file. Let's call this hello.js. And then so I let's say I want jQuery on my projects. You can install that via the npm uh, repository. So you can do npm i jQuery save it to our package JSON. I didn't do stats dev because jQuery is a it's a you know module that we're gonna use for our website, not for our development process. So this will install jQuery under dependencies. So in our hello.js uh, we're going to use something with uh, browserify which, which will understand you know how this works. But for now you just have to trust me if I do var dollar sign equals require jQuery. This will get the jQuery module from node modules folder and then you can use jQuery in your code. So we're just gonna do document ready and then we're gonna do alert. It works. Okay so we have our you know JavaScript ready and our CSS ready, our SAS ready. So since we're doing a node module we need to probably create a Get ignore. So if we're going to, I think I spelled it wrong. Get ignore. Okay, so we're going to ignore the node modules folder. So you don't commit the whole folder to your GitHub if you want to commit it later. So just an overview we have the JavaScript ready with the hello.js, and then we have a couple of SAS files in here. Um, ready. So we are going to um, create a modify this index HTML to just add something to it. So let's say I have a h1 here. Hello world. Let's add some style to this h1. So in our SAS folder let's create a new file called headings.sass so here we're just gonna do h1 um, text align center color blue. So we're just going to add some styles to that h1, and then we're going to import the headings SAS file into our project. Okay. So great. Now we have uh, the stuff we need. And next we're going to go over how we can, this is like the boilerplate setup, right? Now we need to go over the build scripts um, and how it works in NPM uh, system. So we need to basically, um, let's create a, a script that builds our CSS into a minified form. Basically it looks at all our SAS folder and then compile everything into CSS and into one file. So to do this, in the script section of npm uh, package JSON, this is where you define scripts that you can run on the command line, and it will execute whatever the command that you tell it to execute. So it's very simple. Let's do a command for build CSS, and then we are going to use the no sass command line tool. So when I do npm install no sass, 
this com this no SAS command is now available in the terminal. So all I'm doing is I want to tell no um, no SAS that look for anything that ends in uh, a CSS, and then our main source file, the entry point for our SAS, all of our SAS uh, files is inside a CSS folder and then this main file. So it will look for this file and then this file it says import so it will automatically travel to other directory to bring all of these files in for you. So that's all it's doing. It's going to look for that file, that file as the entryway and then it will compile it and then put it in a specific folder for us. In this case we wanted to go to build folder, CSS folder and then style Dot min dot CSS. So we're telling it to uh, put look for this file, process it, compile it to CSS form, and then put it right here. So we're just going to create a folder called CSS so it knows how to do it. So let's demonstrate uh, to see if this works. So to run a specific uh, command from that you define in scripts, section of the package JSON, you just have to do npm run and then the name of the command. In our case, it's build CSS. So, as you can see, it really fast, it goes through all our files, compile it, and then wrote the CSS to the build directory. So now if I go into the CSS folder in the build directory, you see a style that means the CSS, and it contains like all of our CSS um, compile form from SAS into CSS. It doesn't really do minify, minification, but I'll probably go over that uh, next time. But for now, it'll just look for all your SAS file and then compile it to CSS. So it's really neat. And then we are going to define another script. The next script that we are going to do is called build JS. So it's very similar, we're going to use Browserify in this case. So we tell Browserify to look for everything inside of our current JS folder that ends in .js and then we wanted to build it out to the build folder slash js and then we call it script.min.js so let's create a folder here for JS. So this is saying like look for all the all the JS file inside of this JavaScript folder and then compile it down to the build folder and JavaScript folder. Now the sweet thing about uh, Browserify is that when it looks at this hello.js file, I have a require for jQuery it will basically go into the jQuery source code and then copy everything from jQuery into our build. So in, in, in our final compile form, we don't have to separately get a jQuery uh, from somewhere else. It will basically be included as a whole in our, in our um, single file. So let's test this out. npm run build js. And there you go. So you, you notice this file just populated and it has like, see, it has jQuery, it has our own code and then it has jQuery all combined together. So this is very useful if you have a project with a pretty complex structure in your JS folder and it will just compile everything into a single file. Same, same, uh, same case, we should minify all of this, but uh, I'll tell you in the, another video.